My name is Sun Pil Jung from Catholic University. And I'm talking about the past, present, and future of cancer and bioinformatics today. First, I will briefly explain cancer. Cancer is a disease characterized by abnormal and specific proliferation of cells. This disease occurs in many places and has many types. Causes include lifestyle, diet, physical activity, and environmental factors such as smoking. Treatment is mainly through surgery. Cancer has existed since the ancient times, and surgery to remove tumors was performed in the 19th century. In the 20th century, drug treatments such as hormone therapy, chemotherapy, radiation therapy, and immunotherapy began to be implemented. More specifically, Hormone therapy is a therapy uh, that blocks or adds hormones to stop or slow the growth of cancer. Chemotherapy uses drugs to care or stop cancer cells from growing. Targeted therapy is a method that has a recently been in the spotlight. It is a method of targeting only specific molecules related to cancer growth and metastasis to minimizing the side effects of existing drugs. The causes of cancer include the aforementioned environmental factors such as smoking and radiation and infections caused by viruses that invade from the outside. Infectionist agents include uh, papillomavirus, hepatitis A and B, and the well-known HIV. Internal causes include lifestyle factors such as poor eating habits, lack of exercise, and excessive alcohol consumption, as well as genetic factors inherited from parents. Now let's look at bioinformatics. Bioinformatics is the most hot convergence discipline these days. Mathematics and statistics are used to analyze biological information based on biology, chemistry, and physics. Also, cytography in mathematics and computer science is used for security and platform. As shown in the figure on the right, this informatics is used for our health in various fields. Cancer research is an experiment-based research method and is a wet lab study. Conversely, bioinformatics research is research without experiments driver research using data. Bioinformatics is an interdisciplinary field in cancer research that produces biological data, creates tools and analysis. In doing so, it provides insights that penetrate the essence of a biological system improves the understanding of complex biological systems and is involved in developing new therapies for disease such as cancer.
the role of bioinformatics in cancer research can be divided into three parts. Genomic data production, analysis, and integration. The flow of a genomic data production starts with the microarrays that simultaneously measure uh, the expression levels of a thousand of genes and the genomic research blossoms with the next generation sequence techniques that revolutionized the genome research. Afterward, uh, the UCSC genome browser, which visualizes and interprets genomic data and the bioconductor projects for data analysis are in progress. After researchers develop the tools for protein and metabolomes. In cancer research, bioinformatics helps the diagnosis cancer risk and predictive responses to help select effective treatment and analyze how the immune system and cancer cells avoid them to develop effective immunotherapies. Recent trends in cancer research are the emergence of high throughput technologies such as MGS and large projects such as the Cancer Genome Atlas and the International Cancer Genome Consortium to obtain large amounts of high quality genomic data. Precision oncology based on an individual's unique genetic profile is gaining traction as cancer data interaction is now facilitated by machine learning and network-based approaches. Our recent trend, uh, precision medicine is economic, and effective, and powerful in prevention. Above all, it can reduce side effects in the patient treatment process. Advances in technology are uh, accelerating precision medicine. And recently, the wearable device market related to health is growing. However, it is still in its infancy. As shown on the right, the methodology for the multi-mix analysis mass is not easy. And the problem of genetic data security and discrimination by genetic information remain problems. Overall, uh, there is a gap between uh, precision medicine information obtained by bioinformatics and the clinical environment. From now on, I would like to introduce uh, to the two fields I am research. One is multi-omics analysis and mobile platform. The core of precision medicine and the other is antibody drug conjugates. Multi-omics analysis is the integrated study of a multiple omics layers for a more comprehensive and holistic understanding of biological systems. We are developing multi-mix analysis tools and developing mobile usable platforms. Another subject, antibody drug conjugate, compri comprises antibody, drug, and link. In the middle figure, yellow is 
the antibody. Think is the drug that will act on the tumor. And right blue is the linker connecting the body and the drug. Antibody drug conjugate proceed through four steps. Target identification, antibody design, link attachment, site selection, and drug design. Critical aspect of ADC design include antibody specificity, drug potency, and stability of the linker connecting them. ADC treats only the target and has the advantage of using potent drugs, but tumor heterogeneous link safety and drug resistance are challenged to be addressed. To account for tumor heterogeneous, breast cancer from two different patients can have completely different genetic profiles. In other words, not all cells in the tumor uh, may express the target antigen, which may lead to incomplete tumor erosification. Link stability is important. If it is too stable, the drug will not be released efficiently from the cell. And if it is too unstable, the drug will be released prematurely and cause side effects. Target identification, the first step in antibody drug conjugate is time consuming and energy consuming. The time it takes pharmaceutical uh, companies to develop a new drug is 10 years at the earliest. However, uh, due to the groundbreaking development of artificial intelligence, the use of AI in new drug development can significantly reduce time and cause away from the traditional method of repeatedly synthesizing and testing numerous compounds. The AI tool that made this possible is AlphaFold 2. AlphaFold 2 can provide crucial insights at viral states of ADC design and optimization. Continued advances in artificial intelligence will drive the future of bioinformatics and cancer research. Along with the multi-mix analysis, single cell omix analysis, and synthetic biology will dominate. In summary, advances in bioinformatics have revolutionized the cancer research. Also, the future of cancer treatment is precision and personalization. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions or concerns, please get in touch with us at the mail. Thank you.